Hi, I'm John. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up SSH decryption to block malicious SSH tunneling. When we first open the firewall, we see that we have a rule called deny social media. As we hover over and look at the values, we can see we're blocking applications like Facebook and other social media sites. Okay, so then, we have a user who's a Windows 7 user, showing from my VM, who decides to go ahead and browse to Facebook. So you see him open up and try to go to Facebook, and it's reset. Sure enough, we go back and look at the firewall log, and it's been reset because of policy deny. So then now, the user thinks he's really clever and smart. He's going to go back and he's going to close Chrome. He's going to open up Putty to a Linux box. And I'll show you how he's configured it to have an SSH tunnel forwarding port 1024 to this Linux box. So now he logs in and all he has to do is build or open the SSH session. Then in Firefox, you can configure a SOX proxy to leverage localhost 1024, whatever port you configure, such that all browsing will now traverse the SSH tunnel. So now the users are bypassing the firewall rule, which is called a bad thing. So now the firewall administrator looking at the log now sees, hmm, there's an SSH session. Let's go ahead and create an SSH decryption policy rule to open up that SSH session and see if by chance it contains an SSH tunnel. If it does, then we can block the SSH tunnel now that the SSH session has been decrypted using a security policy rule that blocks the SSH tunnel. So first, we create the policy rule. Then we go ahead and create our security policy rule to block the SSH tunnel just like you would any other security policy rule. So this will just take a second. After that, make sure it's in the right order and commit. Now because of session rematch, we shouldn't need to close the user sessions. They'll automatically close. But I went ahead and closed them myself. A, to buy time while the commit window happens, and B, to show that once a fresh connection happens, it fails quickly instead of waiting for the pre-existing session to time out. Now normally, session rematch would have blocked it, but for the sake of the demo, I went ahead and closed and reopened it. So now we're reopening it, logging in, the session's open. Let's go ahead and fire up Firefox. And what do we see? We're typing facebook.com and it's just going to continue to spin. Why? Because it's being blocked. So we can see the SSH tunnel is being denied by my security policy rule. So that's it. That's how SSH decryption and SSH tunnels can be blocked.